Hello, this is the question of 2016, May, June, paper 2-2, and the question number is 1, the very first question. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> the first question is defining acceleration, so it is simply equal to rate of change of velocity in a given time. Uh, the question number B is, a man travels on a toboggan, is here, down a slope covered with snow from A to B, so from A to B, and then to C, from B to C. The path is like this. The slope makes an angle of 40 degree shown here with the horizontal, horizontal, and the slope BC makes an angle of 20 degree with the horizontal. And uh, friction is not negligible, which means that there should be some friction. The man and the toboggan have a combined mass of 95 kg. So let's uh, highlight this 95 kg. The man starts from rest here. So here the velocity is v at a is equal to 0, 0 uh, and has constant acceleration between a and b. So acceleration. The man takes uh, 19 seconds. So this is equal to the time here, time to reach uh, b, to reach b. The, his speed is a 36 meter per second at b. So this is a v b is equal to 36 meter per second. So the first question is uh, calculate the acceleration from A to B. So we have to find the acceleration from A to B. So what uh, we are being given here is we have the time here, time from A to B. We have the initial velocity here, V A equal to 0 and we have the speed here. So we have a speed, velocity as well as the time. So the acceleration should be equal to, should be equal to change in velocity is vb minus va and the time is simply this t equal to it is 36 and it is a 0 and the time is equal to 19 seconds. So if I use the calculator, the value of acceleration will be equal to, so let me use the calculator, 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 calculator. so it should be, it should be 36 divided 19 is equal to equal to equal to 1.895 equal to 1.895 meter per second square so when i write it in 2sf it will be simply equal to 1.9 meter per second square now <coughs> now we have to find the distance from a to b not exactly fine we have to prove that the distance is equal to 340 meters approximately so uh, the distance s will be equal to, so we have got uh, several uh, quantities here, so it is equal to uh, ut plus 1 by 2 at square, so ut is the initial velocity here is here 0, so it is 0, the only thing remaining is 1 by 2 at square equal to 1 by 2 into 1.895 into t square is equal to 19 square. So this will be equal to, this will be equal to, so uh, into 1 9 square uh, equal to divided 2 equal to, it is 342 meters. So approximately it is 340 meters or I can say if I use 2SF it will be equal to 340 meters, 340 meters. Now the next is. <coughs> For the man and the toboggan uh, moving from A to B, so from A to B here, A to B, we have to find the change in kinetic energy. We have to find the change in kinetic energy. So it will be equal to delta K E will be equal to will be equal to K E at B minus K E at A. So that's equal to K at B is equal to one by two m. V B square minus this should be equal to 0 because the velocity at A, the velocity at A is equal to 0. So uh, when I put the values here 1 by 2, the mass is equal to mass of uh, both the things, the person and the toboggan is equal to 95 kg. So it is equal to 1 by 2 into 95 into the velocity square is equal to velocity is a 36 meter per second at B. So it is a 36 square. So the value will be okay. the value will be if I use the calculator here uh, 95 into 36 square divided 2 equal to. 
so it's equal to equally equally equal to 61560 joules so 61560 joules now we need to find the change in potential energy so the change in potential energy is equal to m is constant g is constant the only thing that changes is delta h so this delta h is equal to in the figure this delta h will be equal to will be equal to will be equal to the distance from here here to here delta h is equal to so this distance is equal to delta h and from the diagram what you can say is delta h is equal to delta h is equal to a b a b into sine of 40 degree a b into sine of 40 degree so this a b is equal to so i can use this thing over over here so the formula here will be will be will, will be equal to m is uh, uh, so m g it is simply a b sine of 40 degree m equal to 95 into 9.81 into a b is 342 sine of 40 degree so this should be equal to when i calculate things here when i calculate uh, things uh, it will be equal to uh, equal 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 to um, so it is uh, 40 sine first into 342 into 9.81 into 95 equal to so this will be equal 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 to 204873 joules so it is 204873 joules now from their values now what i can say is what i can say is the change in p is this much in terms of hundreds of thousands but the change in k is only 61000 something so that means there is some sort of loss of energy and the loss of energy is definitely because of friction here because it is stated that it is stated that the frictional force is not negligible so what we have to now to find is we need to find the frictional force so now the loss of energy the loss of energy is equal to loss of energy is equal to it is a delta p e minus delta k e and this is equal to work work done done against friction so this thing is equal to work done against friction friction so that will be equal to frictional force into the distance a b the distance a b so it will give us our f f is equal to delta p e minus delta k e k e whole divided by divided by a b and that's equal to 204873 minus 61560 whole divided this a b is once again this thing is equal to 342 342 so 342 now the value will come out to be equal to to be equal to so this is minus 61560 equal to divided 342 and that's equal to equal to 419 newton so it is 419 newton now as the question says a parachute opens on the toboggan as it reads as it passes point b so when it passes b a parachute opens a parachute opens so there is a constant deceleration of 3 meter per second square from b to c so from b to c there is a constant retardation or deceleration because of the parachute so calculate the frictional force that produces this deceleration between b and c now what happens here is when the body is here when the body is here we now have the force like this one force is in this direction but the frictional force is in this direction this the frictional force this time is a very large so that's why i am making a large arrow here so this is the frictional force which is new one this is equal to mg into sine of 20 degree but since this thing this thing wins uh, there will be a constant retardation so what we have here is now we have now is frictional force new minus mg sine of 20 degree so this is the new resultant force so this thing is the new resultant for resultant and new that's equal to mass into a 
Now, since the A will be in this direction, the body will undergo retardation because it is coming like this. Now, the A will be in this direction, which means its velocity decreases and it suffers from retardation. So, that value will now be equal to, so, or A R is equal to F F N minus M G sin of 20 degree, 20 degree divided, divided M. So, or I can have F F N is equal to M A R plus M G sin of 20 degree. So, this will be equal to 95 into 3 plus 95 into 9.81 into sine of 20 degree. So, its value will now be equal to equal to equal to equal to 20 sine into 9.81 into 95 equal to plus it is a 95 into 3. So, that is equal to 603 Newton. So, the answer is equal to or 604 actually. So, it is 604 Newtons.